You may have a need to change your spindle's rotational speed while performing a test. There are two ways in which this can be done. The first is the more basic of the two and can be done directly from the instrument during a test. All you have to do is press the View Test button and then press the blue arrow in the speed field. You will then have the option of inputting the new desired speed manually or by pressing the list icon and choosing from a list of pre-selected speed options. Once selected, pressing the OK button will change the rotational speed of the spindle. The second way to change the speed during a test is to set up a multi-step program. The DV3T can create multi-step programs directly from the instrument while the DV2T would need to use the free software PG Flash. By doing it this way, you would need to have an end condition that once satisfied would end the initial step and move on to the next program step. There are six end conditions, but for this example, we'll use an end condition of time. I can set up a first step to have a certain speed and a timed end condition of 10 seconds. You then have to set up a second step which would commence once the initial end condition of 10 seconds has been met. You can select a different speed for the second step, as well as a different end condition. Our new DV2T and DV3T units will accept up to 25 steps, each of which could have different speeds. Once the test program is set up, all you have to do is press run and the instrument will perform all the steps outlined in the step program, including the change of speed.